welcome back to my channel um today i am welcoming you, you back because we are going to be doing a macy's beauty box unboxing so if this is your first time here hello welcome my name is madison um if you are not a subscriber i just ask if you want to hit the button below and subscribe you'll be notified every time i post a new video um yeah i lost my train of thought for a minute so <laughs> we're doing macy beauty box and if you've never done Macy Beauty Box before, it is through Macy's. Go on Macy's.com and you can sign up for the Beauty Box. It's $16.20 a month. That includes shipping. Usually, all these products come wrapped in paper, usually inside the bag. This month, they were a little bit big, so they were outside the bag and the bag was on the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I have a giant king-size bed, and if anybody out there puts a duvet cover on their king-size comforter, you know the struggle is real. It just took me half an hour to put on that duvet cover. Definitely don't need to go to the gym today. I'm out of breath. So, <clears throat> let's get right into this. Now, I want to tell you guys one thing, because usually I do all my unboxings on here, and when we get to the paper for Macy's, I usually explain to you that they have the card inside. You get one of these with every single Macy's Beauty Box that you, you get. So, it, usually they're $5.00. A couple times I've seen Macy's um, Beauty Box throw in like a $10 one. Now, I usually take these to Macy's and go over to the MAC counter because MAC has the little like lipsticks or mascaras or um, they have like the travel size uh, face setting spray or something. And usually I take my card over there and I go get one of the lip glosses or lipsticks that I don't already have, the little mini ones. You give them your card, you pay absolutely nothing, they're five bucks. Or you take the $10 card and, you know, you can get like the face spray and the mascara, I think, are $10. You can get that for absolutely nothing. And I think they kind of caught on to that because I went into Macy's the other day to use my $5 card. And I was looking at their lipsticks and they changed all the prices on them. They're now $10. So when you get your $10 card from their Macy's Beauty Box, that's, you know, I guess you can go and do that at this point. But... Um, you can use this anywhere in the store. It doesn't have to be at their makeup counter. You can use it on their perfume. You can use it in... My Macy's has a Clinique in it. It has a whole bunch of like Urban Decay stuff and Too Faced. And um, they have uh, home goods and all kinds of stuff in there. So you can take this and use this towards any of your purchase at Macy's. So I just wanted to clear that up because they did change their prices. And I wasn't aware of that. And I keep telling you guys just to take it to Macy's and you go get your free lipstick. Apparently that's not the case anymore. They obviously caught on to us. Drats. So this month, the bag is kind of um, like holographic. It's kind of neat, though, because you can see through it. Once you put your stuff in there, you can actually see what's in the bag. And it just has some of these little uh, images on the front of it. So inside the bag this month um, is Origins Clear Improvement. It's a charcoal honey mask. And I opened it before because I opened all this stuff before. And it really does smell like pure honey and charcoal. It's not a pleasant smell. I don't really like honey. Um, but they give you a pretty big sample of it. Sorry, you can't see that. It's a little faded. Sorry about that. Um, but they do give you, you know, quite a bit of it. So you could probably get a couple masks out of there. So that's, that face mask was in there. Um, the next thing, I'm kind of excited that it was in there because I wanted to try it. I think this is different than the one they usually have out. This is not the original, because I have the original. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And it is just a kind of small size because Macy's Beauty Box is not full size like Lola Box or um, BoxyCharm. They are sample sizes, but I've gotten some great stuff out of these boxes. So they give you a pretty good sample size. And it's the makeup setting spray. It says it's long lasting, it's oil free. Um, paraben free so that's nice like if you do use this or you use a different um, face spray and you want to just take it with you to travel that's pretty awesome I love the little travel sizes because they fit inside my purse all right so the next one I'm not going to even try to pronounce it because I cannot say those words but it's some kind of lipstick lacquer by Lancome and inside it kind of gives you some of the colors that you could have gotten or what they have oh, sorry about the glare it's really sunny outside today thank god because it was raining the past couple days 
So I'm kind of debating if I should swatch this because the last video I did, I did swatches and they would not come off at all. So this looks like it's kind of like a hot pink and I love you guys, so I'm going to do a swatch. Um, oh, okay. So it doesn't look like lipstick. It kind of looks like a lip gloss kind of maybe or maybe a lipstick topper. So, okay. Um, that might not be so bad then. Doesn't really smell like anything. Kind of like maybe perfumey, but then again, I have perfume on my arm because the next thing, and usually this is just like a, a free sample that comes with it, kind of like Sephora. This is the Juicy Couture We, And here, so you can just see it. And this one's a pretty big sample size. Usually they're a lot smaller. Uh, but I did already spray this on. That's probably what I'm smelling. It's probably not that. And it's okay. Uh, I figured I'd let it sit on my arm and see because, you know, like the longer you let it sit on, it kind of changes while it warms up to your body. But it's okay. Um, I don't think I would purchase it. Like if I did like Scentbird or something like that, maybe if they threw it in there, I would use it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't reach for it on a normal basis. Uh, so the next thing that's in here is the It Confidence in an Eye Cream. I was so excited when I seen this because you guys know I love my eye creams. I am willing to try anything and everything in an eye cream to get rid of these little wrinkles underneath here. If you just watched my upload of my Get Ready With Me, I did a very, very, very close up of those little wrinkles that I cannot stand. So hopefully this will be promising and I will give this a try. The only thing about this, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it down so I could show you. Um, the cap feels like it's one of those caps that you get for like a medicine bottle and they were not very generous. So it's like halfway full and the bottom of it is, you know, it's rounded. It's not flat. So you're really not getting that much, but it's eye cream. So I, I mean, I guess for eye cream, that is a lot. This is going to last me a while. So I'm kind of excited to try that. And the last thing that was in here is from Tony Moly. It's the um, Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Mask. And I usually... <sighs> I loved sheet masks in the beginning when I was doing um, masks and stuff like that, but I kind of have been trying to steer away from them. I'm sorry, I'm trying to wipe this lip gloss off my arm because, oh, yep, sure enough, it's stained. See, stained. So I've been trying to stay away from the um, sheet masks now because I kind of fell in love with Sephora's um, sleep masks where you kind of just put it on your face like it's lotion and go to sleep and you don't have to wash it off till the morning. So I did a sheet mask a couple weeks ago because I was in the sun and got excruciating sunburn while we were doing our gardens. And I bought a sheet mask from Sephora and it was a watermelon after sun um, sheet mask and it really did work. It was phenomenal. But it made, it reminded me why I don't like to do these. And I just like to do the ones from Sephora because I pulled it out. It was everywhere. I tried to put it on my face. It was dripping down my neck. It was just, it was a hot mess. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it again. Maybe it was just that one because it was overly saturated because it was meant for like after sun sunburn. But um, I haven't tried one of their Master Labs uh, face masks. So I'm going to give it a try. Maybe I'll even do it tonight. I have makeup on my face right now because we just did the get ready with me. So I'm not going to do it now. Maybe tonight before I go to bed, I'll just throw it on my face real quick, but um, I'll let you know how it worked out. And that's all I have, guys. Um, I do have a few more things coming. I think I have BoxyCharm on the way. I have Ipsy on the way. I have a Trendscent on the way, and my Stitch Fix should be here probably tomorrow or Saturday. I've already done a sneak peek about that um, Stitch Fix. I'm not really too happy with it, but there are a few things in there that I'll probably keep. But you know how Stitch Fix is. You don't like it on the preview, then you put it on, you fall in love with it, and you end up keeping everything. So um, I'm also looking into maybe looking into getting a maybe maybe a mix and match, just one box, because um, I do have a referral link that I can use from um, one of the other YouTubers on there. I possibly may also be trying um, either Wantable or Natalie Attire. Natalie Attire kind of has me drawn to it, so maybe we'll give that a try next. But anyway, this video is not about that. Um, it was about the Macy's Beauty Box, so if you have any questions or comments about there, I'd be happy to explain anything 
um, about that box or how to sign up for that box if you'd like to. All my links are below. I don't think Macy's has a referral thing, so I kind of really don't benefit from it. So if you want to go straight to the Macy's website or you want to use my link just so it's quicker, you can get right on there. Feel free to do that below and all my other links are below too if you want to take advantage of any of those. So thanks guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.